Hey, what's going on guys? It's wow, it's Charles playing some more Harvest Moon Snacks. Ah, oh, finally rain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, and lightning. Wait, whoa, we did say hurricane. Hold up. Um, it will start to rain hard in the morning with lightning in some places. Okay, good. I was scared. I was scared for a second right there. Um, today's Saturday, so I cannot go to the shops. I was I almost got tongue twisted there. I almost said, today is Saturday, so we cannot go to the stops. <laughs> today is Saturday. Hmm. To anybody who does, uh, awkward noise. To anybody that does not know why that would be funny, it's probably best you don't. If you do want to know, go watch um, Miss Congeniality. It's a great movie. I didn't get to milk Dingo before I, or brush Dingo before I milked her. Him, it. I'll I'll brush Rose. Look how happy Rose is. Oh, got the milk anyway. <laughs> All right. So today is episode 54 of my Harvest Moon Let's Play, and um, I just want to go through some pre pre recording sequences that happened in my head before I started recording. So earlier this week, um, I was thinking, oh wow, I'm not gonna have a lot of time to record at all. Like. I might have to find a quiet time to record my voice only and explain how I'm recording my voice before I play the game or something. And then I was going to work something out, hopefully get a video up, and yeah, that would have been it. If not, I would have postponed my video um, uploading by, you know, maybe a week at most. But that didn't happen. Um, however, once I got home from school today, um, for some reason, it just compelled me that I wanted to organize a lot of my stuff. Um, stuff like... Uh, or, uh, organize some stuff as in, like, files. Like, on my SD cards, my USB drives, my CDs, just everything. Consolidate it, organize it, delete all of the copies and stuff. Make copies where copies should be made, etc. And, I don't know, something just told me that I should do that. Why am I watering before I... This is not how we do stuff on this farm. Where's my horse? Got scared really quick. Really quick. Got scared for a second. Oh, I won't have to water tomorrow. But yeah, I sat down, and I also realized that I was home alone, and, um, you know, I wasn't going to be disturbed. So, I thought to myself, maybe now's the time that I'm supposed to be recording. Why did I just get on my horse? I'm, I can sell stuff right here. Wow, I can't believe I haven't been doing this. Do you know how much fast how how fast that is? Alright, horsey, I need you now. Need you now more than ever. <laughs> As I press these arrow keys very furiously. But yeah, I <laughs> I was like, why am I not recording? Maybe I should get a video prepared for this Saturday. That might be a good option. I was just thinking about myself, and I was like, well, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> so I am. And it's probably better like that. Um, so, some things that just crossed my mind also before recording. Um, something that I've known about for maybe two years now. It's nothing, like, big or anything, but it's only, like, the description of how good and bad things happen in the world. <laughs> oh, did I get your attention? Yeah. Um, if I were to explain the occurrences of good things and bad things, comparative on what I would consider good and bad, it would be on a sine wave. If you don't know what a sine wave is, um, I may insert a picture right here and just say that this is a sine wave or something. And if I don't, then I'll just explain it really quickly now. Sine wave is basically like, if you have a line, a straight line going left and right, the sine wave is a curve, curvy line going up over the line, curving back down underneath the horizontal line, and going back up and down and back up and down. Um, and if you, sine waves are usually put with numbers, so you know you go all the way up, that's plus one, go all the way down, that's negative one. 
The sine wave that I'm dealing with on the scale is not with numbers, not with numbers at all. I'm dealing with positive occurrences and negative occurrences. Every time the sine wave goes down, there is bad things happening, and every time the sine wave jumps back up, that is a positive occurrence, okay? Just follow me for a second here. The sine wave on its way up, no, on when it's at its very peak, that means very good things are happening, very good things have happened or are going to happen. One of the three. Oh, I should probably bring Joel in. It's been a long time since he's been inside, eh? Um, so there's those three options. On its way back down, when it's still above the horizontal line, however, on its way back down, you are still in the positive zone. Positive things are going on. However, they are coming to an end. Once the sine wave hits the horizontal line, that is a neutral occurrence. However, it's only there for a split second, and then it starts to dip underneath the, um, the, the norm. Once as it goes below the horizontal line, you are now in the negative occurrence zone, so bad things will happen. Let's uh, just, just follow my weird logic for a little bit. Um, if weird things are happening, stop, dingo! In the name of love. Okay. Um, and then, while the sine wave is still underneath the horizontal line, bad things are happening, right? Okay. And then it goes back up. Bad things are still happening, but it's getting more positive. And once it's back above the horizontal line, you are back into the positive one zone, right? And now that you're back in the positive one zone, good things are happening. The way this ties into what I was thinking about earlier is with the Mayan calendar and the end of the world. The Mayans predicted that on December 22nd, 2012, um, that date will be the beginning of a new positive era, a renewal of the system. And so December 22nd will be the point on the sine wave that lies above the horizontal and then it starts to curve back up again. Uh, that's basically my my thought on you know what's going to happen and whatnot. So, I just thought this was a a neat interesting concept and thought I would share it for other people to maybe discuss about uh, somewhere most likely in the comments, you know. That's mostly where discussion usually happens, <laughs> right? Uh get this last chicken in my house. I don't think it's raining tomorrow, so I'll be able to sell my, my chicken. Which will be a good thing. A very good thing indeed. Oof, I think I only have tomatoes to sell today. Not sure. Get my horsey. Oh yeah. And I think it's just tomatoes. Let me just check really quick. Oop, oop. Yep, yeah, it's just tomatoes. Alright. Let me do that. Let me do that. Um, so, the idea that I had with keeping my videos under 15 minutes, or about 15 minutes, um, I checked my average total, and it's about 40 seconds over what it should be. That's not bad. Um, I also did some math of, like, what I should make my videos or how many videos of what length should I make and if I keep 14 minute episodes I'll have to make this one and 34 others 14 minutes long in order to main in order to reach a 30 minute what, what do you call it a 30 minute or 15 minute average however since I'm making this one and 34 others and that intersects with my 75th episode that 75th episode will be 30 minutes long, so I can't possibly make that one 14 minutes, right? So basically, I'm going to have to live with my um, episodes, episode average being above 15 minutes. Unless I start making 10-minute episodes or something. Maybe this one will be 10 minutes long. Who knows? Well, with that, I leave you with the end of this Harvest Moon Day and wish you a nice day yourself. Thank you for watching. And come again for the next one. Oh, the irony.